Hi, if you are a pet owner, animal lover or veterinary student, you are at the best place to learn and have important information to keep for your animal healthy. Please subscribe to our channel to have more such videos. Today, we are dealing a very critical case of abscess. We will learn how to drain pus from the abscess and how to heal it. Today we will apply a very special technique to heal large abscesses. This is called as sheetening technique. So first of all we will drain pus and then we will do sheetening. First of all we will make two openings. One along the gravity and other on the upper side of the abscess as you can see in the video. You can clearly see that two openings have been created as you can see in the video. This will not only help to drain the pus but also help it heal best as an open wound. So whenever you will have a case of large abscess you can do this technique. Here you can see the surgeon is draining the pus out of the wound. The pus is coming out from the both holes. It will not only help drain all of the pus but also help to drain the pus quickly. After draining all pus, we will make a antiseptic solution and wash the wound thoroughly with that antiseptic solution. We can take the help of a syringe for washing the wound. So we will take the antiseptic solution in the syringe and pour it into the abscess and drain it. We, we will do this again and again until all the pus is out of the wound. As you can see that the surgeon is draining the abscess with the help of antiseptic solution and it, he is repeating it. We will wash it vigorously for complete our sepsis so that it can heal immediately. And to minimize the chances of reoccurrence. We will also remove the pyogenic membrane. Pyogenic membrane is the membrane that is inside the wound of an abscess. So it is very important to completely remove the pyogenic membrane and all the remains of it. If the pyogenic membrane or the remains of pyogenic membrane remains inside the abscess wound, it will greatly enhance the chances of reoccurrence of the abscess and the pus inside it. <clears throat> so, we must ensure that the pyogenic membrane has been completely removed out of the wound. As you can see, after removing the pus and also removing the pyogenic membrane, we will make a solution of magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate has a very strong antiseptic characteristics and it also helps in debridement and the <coughs> quick recovery of the wound. We will pour the solution with the help of solution, uh, uh, with the help of syringe into the abscess wound, and we will drain the pus and remaining pus out of the abscess, so that it can heal completely. Now, after draining the pus out of the abscess wound, we will perform the second step, that is the sheetening. For this process, we will take a piece of 
<coughs> we will uh, take a piece of dressing and soak it into the solution of magnesium sulfate and put it inside the wound we will put it inside the abscess wound because it will help uh, giving antiseptic property after that we will uh, take another large piece of dressing and also soak it into the magnesium sulfate and we will apply it into the abscess wound side that <coughs> one side of the dressing we will put from one hole and uh, we will put it out uh, from the other side of the hole from the second opening as you can see it the surgeon is putting the dressing from one hole and putting it out from the other side this will help in two way healing of the bound this seating technique allows the pus continuously drain out of the bound and we will at last <coughs> apply the knot and help the bound 